dear students today i am going to start history chapters according to the current syllabus we have to learn total four chapters of history three are compulsory and one is having choice nationalism in india nationalism in europe and the print culture and the modern world these are the compulsory chapters that everyone should learn and one is option from these two chapters the making of the global world and the ages of industrialization i will interview you afterwards which one we are going to opt today i am going to start a chapter nationalism in india and i am assure you that five mark questions and map questions will come from this chapter so my dear students listen carefully understand the concept and learn the questions accordingly before entering the chapter i want to ask one question to you what is the meaning of nationalism what is the meaning of nationalism and i'm sure you are ready to give so many answers like love towards a nation intimacy towards a nation affection towards a nation in simply you will say that sir nationalism means desh bhakti desh ke prati prem patriotism my dear students you all are right each and every answers are correct nationalism is a strong feeling of oneness which when the then the people believe or feel that they live under the same political uh, social and economical system which they shared when they shared the same aspiration while they live in the common land more often the modern nationalism that intimately connected with the uh, anti colonial movement by the people they were against this colonialism while they started anti colonial movement this is because the fact that the colonial powers they exploited the colonies and led to poverty and misery that is why the people of the colony they try to kick off these people or the foreigners from their motherland a country like india having number of classes number of groups they have felt totally different uh, feelings about this colonialism their experiences also were varied the notions of freedom that was not same the congress under the leadership of mahatma gandhi tried to unite these various groups under one movement but this unity did not emerge without conflict dear students we already discussed about nationalism in various different classes but this class we will pick out the story of the 1920s and study about the main two movements like nationalist non cooperation movement and cdm civil disobedience movement my dear students we will look the how the congress sought nationalist movement develop sought to develop the nationalist movement and how the groups different type of groups they participate in this movement and how this nationalism captured the imagination of the people what was the notions or the aspirations of the various groups for that first of all we are going to discuss about the impact of world war in india or how the first world war that developed the growth of nationalism or the economic and political situation created by the world war in india this is a important topic of this 
uh, from this chapter the impact of world war that was happening between 1914 and 1918 as you all know that during the first world war india was under the control of britishers and uh, british were the key role also they played a clear key role in the first world war and there was a huge expenditure means war expenditure also was there for that they need money Britishers need money, so they imposed various taxes on the Indian common people. They imposed taxes, they increase, increase taxes, and also introduce income tax. They introduce income tax, huge increase in the expenditure. They want to meet the expenditure for that they increase the taxes, and also introduce income tax, which the common people had to pay for the war needs. And and also during these war years, the prices of the commodities also increase. That means all the articles, the price of the all the articles also increase. That lead to the hardship of the common people of India. Economical situation totally damaged. Right? Apart that forced recruitment, villages called for the soldiers for the the recruiters. They visit the villages. And forcefully they captured the people. They forcefully they uh, joined the people for the war as a soldier. And as you well know, as you know about the villages of India, they are not so educated. They are not willing their children to send abroad, and they are not uh, experienced also. So many people died also. So that the forced recruitment led widespread anger and resentment among the villagers. That also a reason for the emergence of nationalism against the British. 1920, 1918-19, 1920-21, crop failure in many part of the country. Crop failure means the famine that lead to food shortage. Famine also influence the epidemic. Influence the epidemic, crop failure because of this only lot of people died. According to 1921 census, 12 to 13 million people perished due to the result of famine and epidemic. These were the impact of First World War in India. All these, because of all these reasons, the people started to unite. And the people of India hoped their hardship will end after the end of First World War. But that did not happen. And this, at this stage, a new leader with a new mode of struggle appears. That is Mahatma Gandhi. He reached India in January 1915 from South Africa. As you all know, that South Africa may capture And he fought against the racist regime with a novel method that is known as Satyagraha. What is the meaning of Satyagraha? Satyaka Agraha. It emphasizes the power of the truth and need to search for truth. It suggests that if the cause was true, the struggle was for against the injustice. There is no need of any physical violence. A satyagrahi can win the battle with the help of non-violence. Mahatma Gandhi believe this dharma of non-violence can unite the Indian people. Then when Mahatma Gandhi arrived in India, many of the leaders like uh, uh, Balgangar Tilak and all, they approached Mahatma Gandhi to take the, uh, the, the head, well, lead, leadership of this uh, nationalist movement. But his political mentor, Gopal Krishna Gokhale, advised him. First of all, you have to visit the country, understand the situation of the country, meet the people. So he started to travel all over the country. He traveled village to village. And he understood the condition of the pathetic condition of the countrymen or India and the brutal activities of the Britishers. That is why he started. Early Satyagraha movement in various places 
like 1916 Chamberlain Bihar, 1917 Kheda Gujarat, 1918 Ahmedabad Gujarat. My dear students, this is the first map questions of you people. Mahatma Gandhi's initial early Satyagraha movement in India. 1916 Chamberlain Bihar for the peasants against the oppressive plantation system. 1917 Kheda Gujarat that was cemented for the peasants because the, their peasants were totally in a pathetic condition. They are unable to pay the tax because the crop failure and also plague epidemic. They wanted to wave off the revenue. Mahatma Gandhi worked for them and that also was successful. 1916, 1917, Kheda. 1918, cotton for the cotton mill workers, Ahmedabad. That also for the remove. He wanted to remove the pathetic condition of the cotton mill workers because they have to work hard for 18, 12, 16, 18 hours. Less wages. Working condition was not so was so poor. So Mahatma Gandhi organized Satyagraha for these people. So all these Satyagraha, 1916, 17, 18. Chamber and Bihar, Kheda, Gujarat, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. All three Satyagraha were very successful. Understood? So from this topic, you have to learn three questions. First is the impact of First World War in India or how nationalism grow due to this World War. Second is idea of Satyagraha, right? Truth and non-violence. And the third is the Mahatma Gandhi's initial Satyagraha movement in India, that is 1916-17-18, Kheda, sorry, Chambaran Bihar, Kheda Gujarat, and Ahmedabad Gujarat. My dear students, you may please, if you are having the textbook, read the textbook. Else, listen this carefully two times. You are able to understand clearly and write these three questions also. And we will continue with the next topic tomorrow. Thank you and have a nice day.